stains. We begin this morning with some clever ways to get out those tough stains. Here's consumer correspondent Susan Copen. Good morning. Good morning. Now, this segment really starts in real life. Tell me what happened to you. Okay, so I do a load of laundry, dry it, I start folding it, mm -hmm. and I realize there is red crayon everywhere. Uh, so I've never seen my husband cry right? until I showed him his brand new jeans Ooh, that so had the, red crayon so everywhere. So there's crayons in somebody's pocket. It yeah, goes through both right. the wash cycle and the dry right. cycle. It's gech. It's everywhere. Yes. So, okay, so I immediately went to the internet and mm -hmm. typed in, you know, removing crayon from clothes and, you know, after right, you wash right. them. There were tons of concoctions. Right. And I thought, do any of these really work? Yeah. So the main ingredient in most of these concoctions uh -huh. was vinegar. Vinegar. So I tried it out. Right. So I put all the clothes back in the wash. Right. And I just dumped in a cup of vinegar. Right. Along with a regular laundry detergent or whatever yes, else. Yes, I yeah. did okay. normal laundry detergent uh -huh. and a cup of vinegar. Yeah. Boom. All gone. Really? All gone. Okay, so if That's you all if I you needed. came out of the wash and there was crayon all over the place and it's all over these clothes, right? You just dump them back in, cup of vinegar, right? Clean as a whistle. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, and how cheap is a bottle of vinegar? It right? is. It's inexpensive. So I was I was very happy, and so was my husband. You his, did your due diligence. I saved the jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I saved his you favorite have, jeans. You may have saved your marriage. Um, and wait, the other lesson I learned from this, yes. always check the pockets, <laughs> and um, don't wash your clothes right. with your kids' clothes. That, that's well, my advice. Yeah, that's not always, that's easier said than done Okay, so right? how many times has this happened? So right. you're playing with your pen at work. You're not even playing with it. It's inadvertent. <laughs> wait, don't make a you're, huge stain. You're inadvertent. It's your <laughs> out there and you're working and you're doing a story and hey Copen, what's that consumer course thing coming up and all of a sudden Perfect. that happens. Perfect. Okay. So you have this very annoying pen mark. Right. All right. Can we see this? Can we see it here? Let me lift yeah. it up a little bit. All right. So we have that oh, line, all right? right? You see the right. line. So I did some investigation. And so you, you go on the internet again? I internet and right. talking to some of the people in our wardrobe department. Ah, what do you do for smart. egg? Smart. Right. Rubbing alcohol. Rubbing so, alcohol. Now, right. this will get a little sloppy, but yeah. you just keep rubbing, 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 right. rubbing, 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 and so this might take a little while. It starts coming out, you know, and based well, on the working. size of the stain. It is stain, working. It really is so working. I don't know if you guys at home can see. You're gonna have to put a little more elbow is... grease into there, Copen. But so it's starting to come oh, look out. Look at that. See? Oh my gosh, it works. It really works. Here, look, stand up, stand up. Okay. Look at it. It's really basically gone. Rubbing alcohol again. I mean, a cheap. Simple solution. You probably have it in your house right now. How about a little reaction from the crew? Yeah, can we get a, Ooh, some applause? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, now our next problem. Uh -huh. I, don't th I don't think guys have this problem. Do you have this problem? You put on, chicks have it. You put on your shirt uh -huh. after putting on your deodorant and a perspirant, and then you get that sort of messy deodorant stain on, on the outside of your shirt. That has not happened to me. Hasn't happened admit. to you. Okay, right. well, it happens right. to ladies. So, yeah. simple solution, pantyhose. Okay, you take the top of the pantyhose. <laughs> Wait, did we show the stain first of all? No, okay, okay, all right, hang on a minute. All right, Give me some so deodorant. here's your here's your deodorant and you put your clothes on right. and all of a sudden you realize you've got all that right. Can on Can you there. see that at home? And it's kind of waxy, right? right? You would think it's very hard to get out. So instead of using water or something that's gonna leave a stain, right. Right. the top of a pair of pantyhose, and it's all gone. Look at that. <laughs> All gone. One person in the audience is clapping. Thank you. Okay. What do we think it is about the pantyhose? Though? I have absolutely no idea, but I love it. <laughs> it's such a simple solution. Right. Instead of taking a washcloth or water or something that's going to actually ruin your shirt. Right. And spread it all over the place. Exactly. So right. there's your simple solution. Well, no, you take those with you. Okay. All these right, I will keep. All right. Put these back in your office. All right. That's it? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, no, and I want, if you have an oops moment, yes. it could be anything. Right. Anything. Yeah. It could be I dropped my cell phone in the toilet. Oops, uh -huh. now what? Oh, okay. Send it in to me and I'll, I'll figure out the solution. I like it a lot. All this right? is a very good segment. Okay. Well done. Well done. Susan Coven, thanks. If you have a question for Susan, just go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.